looking to meet up with a gentleman named Dick Shipley. We're supposed to go out to uh, an 1813 home where one of the first settlers of Ross County. He actually purchased the land in 1796. This house that we're going to was built in 1813. And uh, the family farm's still uh, around descendants on it, but this property they had sold off to other people that had given me permission to hunt it. Recently, bush hogs I drove past a couple days ago to make sure. Last time I got here, the grass was 10 to 12 inches high. And, well, had rain last night, so I'm hoping that'll help out. Just hanging out by this cornfield, waiting to meet up. I'll introduce you when we get together. Happy hunting. What's happening? Digger Nation, Brian, a.k.a. First Capital Digger here with Dick, Dick Shipley. Shipley. Dick, where are you from? From New Holland. Well, I appreciate you driving down to hunt with me today. Hopefully we find what we can. I'm glad the fields have, I should say the grasses have been cut. A little taller than I care for, but I'm a city boy. What do I know? If we find anything good, we'll let you First know. First Capital Digger here coming to you from an 1813 home that was owned by James Dunlap, I believe. Colonel James Dunlap. Say that again. Colonel James Dunlap. Uh, he built the house before, uh, before 1815. One source says he started it before the war was 1812, went off to fight it, came back and finished the house. Excellent. And can I get your name? I'm Kevin Coleman. Um, I live in it. At least the addition to it, probably somewhere built sometime between 1850 and 1870. And can I ask what you do uh, in your daily life? I, I'm a local historian, tour guide, and also radio news reporter, among other things. Excellent. Thank you for the opportunity to come out here and dig. And uh, what'd you say you lost near the house? The brass pommel to a small sword. Well, a big pommel to a small sword. Yeah. I was stabbing the. Um, hay bales that, that were out there at the time and it sort of flew off. I don't know where. Well, that's no fun. We'll try to help you with that. Well, don't mind my organic garden. The weeds are edible even though they're about seven feet tall. No problem. No problem. Appreciate you being on it. Two holes. Two pieces of iron. Looks like an old hinge. Looks like part of a plow. Gotta expect it. Keep swinging. Loads of iron out here today. Dick's hunting over there. He's swinging a white. I don't know the exact model number. He's uh, showed me a Chuck E. Cheese token he found out here, he said. I haven't seen anything else he's dug yet. Um, me, I'm hitting iron. Nails. And an old, I don't know how old, it's a wagon wheel. Solid rubber wheels. Metal frame. See where it fell off the wagon. Car. Might have been a push car, who knows. Wasn't very far down. Setting up behind the main house, behind that, that's a garage frame not finished. The house is beyond it. Figuring if there was kids playing, they'd have went down this hill. And, well, found the wheel. Keep hunting. It is getting warm now. I'm covering up the camera. I need to hydrate. Beautiful day out here. Beautiful old home. Slim pickings, slim pickings. We uh, left the original home we were at. We came back to another old home site here. I've hunted here before. Um, we both kind of went our separate ways, myself and Mr. Shipley. And uh, just trying to see what we can find. Loads of iron in the ground out here. Again, it's an old farm inside there. Hand hewn logs, holding it up. All kinds of oyster shells, pottery. Of course, you got the, the gutters that are now laying on the ground. All kinds of stuff. But I did find uh, an old masonry lid, looks like. 
porcelain insert still in it. As far as coins go, no, nothing too major. I did find a penny. There's a old spoon, spoon bowl, I should say. Yeah, all right, let's get it out of the way. You guys ready? Watch for it. There it went. Your spoon toss. That's the way to do it. Yep, just a penny. Hunting on the back side of this house here amongst the rocks and loose dirt. Looks like a 79. Nothing too old, but I'll take it. It's something to dig. It's a beautiful day. Humidity's dropping, sun's rising, temperature's holding steady. Mr. Shipley uh, said he had to get out of here. Chuck E. Cheese token, lots of lead. Um, Found the tip off something, not sure if it's a lipstick tube, scabbard tip or what. Um, didn't look to be aluminum, didn't feel heavy enough to be lead. Not sure what it was. No rust on it whatsoever, so he said he's going to take it home, clean it up. But if I find anything more, I will let you know. Keep swinging. <laughs> what is it? Can we get you a microphone? Yeah, I, I, it'll be on YouTube on Friday. Yeah, first capital digger. That's what it's called. It's a metal detecting channel, but I'm not detecting today. I'm at the fair. So, what's the name of your stand so you'll be on it? Bennett. And what do you guys serve? The best tenderloin at the Ross County Fair. Thank you and very fish, much. too. Perch, right? Yeah. And you guys also are at the Circleville Pumpkin Show? Yes. Dug an area on the back side of the house. That's an addition right there. Up to another portion of the home. But I was digging back in there. Found some pennies. Modern. 1970s, the oldest. That's about it. I love these old buildings. Big spider. See if I can get him. See if I can get his attention. Nope, he's had enough. He's gone. He knows who I am. I did find a Hot Wheels. Figured I'd leave it behind on the house for him. It's more of a surface find. Yeah. Can't see much. Old corn crib, I believe, is what this is. Fireplace is starting to fall in. Maybe it's the old coal shed. I have no idea. Brick floor, though. marks on the beams or not. Not much light to go by in here, guys. Ladies. Not much at all. That one still has bark on it. drilled holes wooden rod holding it together yep these stones probably two inches of soil on some of them love to get underneath of them oh well <laughs> well well, well, well. Covered. Lots of brush out on the edges, but they keep it nice and cut. It's all one property. It's a lot of property to cover. But, I love digging history. One beep at a time. That would be a buzzard. 
Don't ask me why. But it just jumped down out the tree. First capital digger here. What's happening, Digger Nation? Met up with a guy named Dick Shipley today. 45 years in detecting, uses a white, I don't know what. Nice looking machine. We went to two different farms owned by the same family, a couple miles apart from each other. Um, both of them have fields in the plants in the field so we can't hunt those so we hung around the, the house and uh, the old house that used to be there I've got a map for it talked to a, a historian who's a tenant in one of the homes um, invited me to go to um, an archaeology meeting archaeology society meeting um, they do it once a month locally at the Mound City Group Asked me if I'd be interested in making a presentation on what it is I do. So, I don't know. I guess I'm asking you guys if you've ever uh, worked with an archaeologist before. I think it'd be a great opportunity. I mean, they got the maps. The good so, maps. I don't know. Something to think about. Ponder. I think I might just call it a day or... I got a friend of mine wants me to help him find his uh, water lines on a piece of property he bought. I might swing down and give him a hand, give him a call, see if he's home. So I don't know. I will uh, check in with you later. Slim Pickens in the hunt today for both of us. I'll do a roundup when I get to the house and uh, let you know what I found and where I found it. Big iron out here, both places. I found one piece of iron, it's probably just going to be folded up sheet roofing, that's what it looks like. It, it, the way it's folded up though, it looks like um, clothing, fabric, but it's metal, I don't know, I have no clue. I left that here on the farmer's scrap pile, so, I don't know, buzzard flying around out here. Watched him jump off the top of the building twice. Why he's haunting me, but he is. All right, I'm out of here. Love digging history, one beep at a time. First capital digger here. I have changed location since uh, Mr. Shipley and I split up. And he went on home. I was going to head home myself. It's getting warm, but there's an old school here. Hang on, let me get you turned around. There's an old school here that the it's no longer in use. Used to have playground equipment last year. They pulled it all out. It was also a junior high and middle school and all kinds of other things. I'm not sure. It's the Western School Building. It's probably a date it was built on it, but I'm not seeing it from where I stand. So I decided to come get my cousin Noah to go detecting with today. Sorry about the wind. Let me introduce you to Noah. All right, Digger Nation, this is my cousin Noah. Hello. Noah's never been detecting before. I figured I'd bring him over here to the school and let him use my backup detector and wherever it is. He's not helping me very much by the camera use. There it is. That's the one he's using today. Me, I'm still swinging the Ace 350, digging everything metal and not finding anything good. But tis the way it goes sometimes, I guess. Noah, what have you found so far? Nothing? Didn't you find some canslaw? Yeah. Yeah, canslaw's not good to eat. All right, we're going to get back at it. If we find anything good, we'll let you know. Say bye, Noah. Bye. Do you have anything to say to people who metal detect? No. Got to speak loud. No. Come on, say something. We didn't find anything. I know. What happens when we're not finding stuff? It's what? Bored. Yes, you get bored very quickly, don't we? Yes. All right. Happy hunting. All right, Digger Nation, I need some help. Anybody got a metal detector? I lost the fob of my car. I need to find it. Let me know. Thanks.
I knew you'd like Still that. Still hunt at this old school about to call it quits. We haven't found anything except for playground trash, like actual stuff that was used to build the playground, and when they pulled it out, they left it behind. This is neat. In memory of Captain E.R. McKee, who planted this elm tree in the autumn of 1857, erected by his Sunday school class, 1924. That's the corner of this school here. This is the other side. I don't think there's an elm tree. I see maples, but I think all the elm trees around here are dead. They're all maples. But, at least you know they were here. Go ahead. Hello to everybody from the Ross County Fair in Chillicothe, Ohio. This is Abraham Lincoln, enjoying himself in modern times. Come on down to the Ross County Fair and enjoy it with us. Hanging out with Honest Abe at the Ross County Fair. How much better can it be? Keep digging. Tight that I could not 